Thanks, ladies and gentlemen, for joining me in this edition of the 6 p.m. Primetime Newscast on Equinox Television Live from my headquarters in Cameroon's economic capital, Douala. In our top stories tonight, he came the second in the October 7, 2018 presidential election in the Republic of Cameroon according to results of elections, Cameroon and the Constitutional Court. But he has continued clamoring for what he qualifies as his tolling victory and calling for the recount of results of the last presidential election and now he is behind bars. Professor Maurice come to another leaders of the Cameroon Renaissance Movement, CRM political party. We are arrested here in the economic capital Douala yesterday and they have been detained in the nation's political capital. Yaoundé and politicians, political analysts and legal minds are decrying violation of the law by forces of law and other in their efforts to crush the protest move organized by Professor Maurice Camto's party in several towns across the country last weekend. Thanks, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us on this edition of the news on Equinox Television. The national president of the Cameroon Renaissance Movement, CRM political party, Professor Maurice come to another leaders of the party, as well as some militants, are now in detention in the nation's political capital, Yaoundé. They were arrested yesterday here in the economic capital, Douala. Professor Maurice come to another leaders were arrested in the course of a meeting at Albert Zongang's house in the Dweller 5 uh, municipality yesterday and there was a violent confrontation between some militants of the CRM political party, more than 100 of them who converged on the residents of Alben Zungang when they heard about the news of the police threatening or trying to arrest the national president of the party. And there was a confrontation between the militants and the forces of law and other. In the course of the confrontations, gunshots were heard and tear gas fired to disperse the protesters and some of them were arrested and they are now in the nation's political capital Yaoundé and some of the militants who were injured during the Saturdays a protest in some towns of the country including Celestine Jamin have equally been taken out of the hospital and they are equally in detention uh, some are in detention in unknown places till now while the national president of the party Professor Maurice Camto is in detention at the special operation arm of the police force in Yaoundé and the other leaders are in detention at the judicial police in the nation's political capital Yaoundé. We caught up with the Secretary General of the CRM political party, Baristan Dong Christopher, on phone from Yaoundé, and this is what he told us. Yesterday by evening, Professor Maurice Kanto was the president of uh, Mr. Zongang Abe, and uh, they were rounded up by police officer. The message was spreaded around the militants that were pouring in so as to save the police, the, the arrest. They came in their good numbers, but they shot, made gunshots at the air, dispersed the militants, and the penetrator entered and arrested Donga and uh, Maurice Camto, including Ekoka. Now, when they came out, they had to arrest more than a hundred of our militants that were outside. Brutalized some, scattered them, and carried them away. So, this morning, I've had uh, reliable information that. They have been carried to the judicial police in Yaoundé. So all that I know is that uh, this is as a result of the protest march that we did all in, 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 in three major towns of the, the country, Bassam, Douala, and Yaoundé. Uh, uh, Barista, we, what about the militants who were admitted in hospital for the injuries that they incurred during the protest move? We have information yes. that some two militants were taken out of the hospital in Yaoundé to an unknown destination as well as Celestine Jamin, who was taken out of hospital here in Douala to Yaoundé. What is happening with those militants? What is their situation? What is very clear in my mind is that that of Douala, Celestine Jamin and the other were carried away to the judicial police. They were equally taken to the judicial police, though they have not yet recovered from their, their bruises, the wound that they, they sustained during the, 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 the strike action. And uh, many other new ones were arrested and taken over. So that is the situation with them. But uh, as for Madame Doki, I don't, she has not been arrested uh, as one of those patients. So for the few patients that remain in hospital, most of, most of them too were released after the incident 
on that same Saturday evening. The Benjamin remained, and the other young man remained, so they are the people who were carried away, to the best of my knowledge. Uh, as a legal mind, what's your reading of the situation? What's your reaction to the repression that the, the forces of law and order are using against uh, the MRC and other opposition political parties as far as public manifestations are concerned? Because uh, in fact they are not founded on any grounds, they just take fictitious uh, grounds to think that people, this is a constitutional right for political parties and its militants to protest. It is in the constitution. We have a right to protest. And of course, I say illegal because the law is there. We say we should declare. We have declared our match. And so what was left for government was to send its forces, security forces, to guide the marchers until the end. And then release them in order not to cause havoc. But when you see the government start shooting a protester, they were first, all those who were shot were not protesting. That is the first thing. They were shot, they were not yet protesting. That is the first illegality. Number two, uh, the beating and many of people is not into the problems we are talking about. We are saying the government should stop killing in the Northwest and Southwest region. The separatists should stop killing in the Northwest and Southwest region. In fact, that is for the better men. Which government would have encouraged us to decry this act so that it comes to an end and we have a peaceful situation in the North and South region? When we want to cry on the fundamental rights of other citizens, we are being shot and arrested. It is not correct. That is an abuse of rights, an abuse of power. In number two, when we cry that the nation cup was withdrawn and that people have embezzled funds hugely from the projects that were given all over the country, government, instead of investigating and getting the people to go, we start promoting them. And we want to cry that the practice is wrong. That is bad governance. We are being shot. We are being arrested. Number three, when we say election results were, 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 were stolen and that we won, they can do the recount. We are being shot. We are being arrested. So all of the acts perpetrated by government is illegal. And we say, in fact, it is a political ploy to, to in fact, uh, uh, create fear within the minds of Cameroonians not to cry out their rights again. This is a dictatorial regime, and this regime is bent to quiet anybody who wants to talk against them. In fact, in Europe, you see the people strike, they protested. Nobody is arrested, nobody is in prison. It is a developed country that's where democracy and the rights of humans are being respected. Why don't they want to restore our rights? All of these rights are inscribed in the constitution of this country. Why do they think today our rights should be buried into a container? That is what we will never want to see. Because they don't want us to talk all of their ears, they begin to arrest people to intimidate them. So these are all tactics of intimidation. It cannot prosper. Thank the you very cannot much. Prosper. The whole world is watching. The action they will bring cannot prosper because this is a police state. This is a military state. We thought the police and gendarmes were there to protect the civilians, but they are there against the citizens. So that is what we are declaring. They, they are the ones violating. It's just because they think that they can command the police and the gendarmes have to clamp down and crack down on people carelessly. It is wrong. We are saying it is wrong and we are declaring even if we have to die. Barrister Christopher Ndong, Secretary General of the Cameroon Renaissance Movement, CRM Political Party, coming back on what happened yesterday at Alben Zungang's residence here in Douala, and of course reacting to the uh, way the security forces are managing public uh, protests in the Republic of Cameroon as far as uh, political parties of the opposition and the civil society are concerned and condemnations have been streaming in from uh, different quarters. Politicians as well as civil society activists have been condemning the repression used by forces of law and order to crush uh, public manifestations, notably the manifestations organized by the CRM political party in Douala, Yaoundé, Bafusam, Buddha, Chang and other parts of the country protesting against electoral holdup and of course calling for the recount of results of the last presidential election in the Republic of Cameroon and also protesting against the violence and the killings, abductions, destructions of properties uh, going on in the northwest and southwest regions of the country within the context of the Anglophone crisis. They are also denouncing what is qualified as illegal exploitation of the country's resources by a clique of individuals and the Cameroon People's Party. The CPP of Kabanwala Egypt has also condemned the repression used by security forces as well as the alliance of progressive forces the apf 
of uh, Alice Sajo and in her communique she indicated that what is happening now is similar to what happened in October 2016 when the lawyers and teachers took to the streets in the northwest and southwest regions of the country which later quickly switched to an armed uh, conflict and warning uh, that if nothing is done things may get out of hand. And the government has also continued maintaining that the uh, security forces have been professional in the way they have been handling uh, the protest move by Professor Maurice Camto's party. A political analyst has equally decried violation of the law. Ino Senazi reports. This video that has gone viral on social media since Saturday, January 26, 2019 has attracted widespread criticisms regarding this barbaric act of a Cameroonian security element and in general, the gross violation of human rights by the Cameroon police force. Acts against a law empowering peaceful protesters to manifest in public, notably the use of firearms by security forces. La loi sur le maintien de l'ordre dit que a political analyst on the French debate program Droit de Réponse on Equinox Television indicates that the law on maintenance of order in Article 3 condemns the use of arms in any public peaceful manifestation. Même si c'est une arme de dissuasion, c'est interdit. And in no circumstance should a security element descend to a manifestation scene armed. Tir en l'air sont interdits. He says the law precises that shooting of whatever sort is forbidden during efforts to institute order. Donc qu'est-ce qui peut justifier que what happened during the CRM peaceful protest, which saw many unarmed protesters shot, he says, is gross violation of the law. To the political analyst, the law tolerates the use of only La loi autorise les bâtons. Baton and tear gas. Crimogène. Uniquement, voilà les deux instruments que la police, qu'on peut voir la police traîner pendant une opération de maintien de l'ordre. But if the peaceful protest takes a different twist and the protesters armed, then security forces are authorized to use arms. Appel à l'autorité administrative. Qui peut à ce moment-là requérir l'usage des armes? Mais. Il faut que on est en face des manifestants armés. Amen. A contrary situation witnessed Saturday during the peaceful protest, during the peaceful march of the CRM militants, supporters and sympathizers, as some of the unarmed protesters were brutalized and shot. According to the ministers of communication and territorial administration, no life bullet was used on the protesters, hospitalized, and some arrested while in the hospital. This video circulating on social media tarnishes the image of the Cameroon Defense and Security Forces and brandishes the irresponsible attitude and ignorance of some men in uniform of the law guiding their profession. Repressive acts which, according to commentators, promoted the Anglophone crisis to what is today termed armed conflict between Anglophone pro-independence fighters and the Cameroon military. We equally caught up with another legal mind, Barista Celestin Kingum, who takes a critical look at the arrest of the leaders of the CRM political party in this report compiled by Innocent Azi. You know, Senazi, with this uh, report on the reaction of another legal mind, Barrister Celeste Kengum, who says that uh, the arrest of Professor uh, Maurice come to another leaders of the CRM political party uh, could be illegal if uh, the law that governs the arrest of an individual out of his area of residence uh, were not respected. 
Barista Sene Sinkengum, lawyer at the Cameroon Bar Association, confirms a citizen can be arrested at his residence and even in a hospital on the condition that some regulations are respected. If you committed an offense in Yaoundé, but you live in Douala, uh, judicial officer of Yaoundé or uh, the prosecutor can order an arrest against you and this arrest they transfer the order to the prosecutor in Douala and the prosecutor in Douala appoint an officer a police officer to come and arrest you when they arrest you they come and confirm to the prosecutor that you have been arrested then after that they can transfer you where you have committed the offense Concerning the arrest of the leader of the Cameroon Renaissance Movement Party, Professor Maurice Camto, and other militants and supporters of the party on Monday and Saturday in Douala, Barrister Celestine Kengum says is perfectly legal if and only if formalities and regulations to do so were strictly obeyed. They can arrest you everywhere. But that depends on the subject and that depends on the police. He asked that politicians like Professor Maurice Camto and his militants do not benefit jurisdictional or diplomatic immunity and can be arrested anywhere within the national triangle. According to the law, they cannot arrest somebody which has a dip diplomatic immunity or jurisdictional immunity. So you cannot arrest a dip diplomat. You cannot arrest somebody with a certain power. You cannot arrest a governor like you arrest any citizens. That depends on the place. It means that uh, according to international, uh, international law, you cannot arrest somebody inside the embassy because the embassy is a territory, is a territory of another country. To the legal mind, arresting a citizen in a region and transferring him to another region without due respect of terms is equivalent to abduction and gross violation of the stipulated law. And a civil society organization, notably the Network of Human Rights Defenders in Central Africa, Redakas, equally reacted to the arrest and detention of leaders of the CRM political party and, of course, the repression of the protest move, use uh, the repression of the protest move organized by the CRM in some towns across the country. The non governmental organization highlights the violation of international laws. The reaction of Redak. Speaking to pressmen and women in Douala, January 29, 2019, the Network for Human Rights Defenders in Central Africa, Redak in its French acronym, kidnapping and abduction of Professor Maurice Camto, National President of the Cameroon Renaissance Movement, CRM Political Party, close party eight and supporters of his party. To redact, this is a flagrant violation of the provisions of the international rules and the governments of Cameroon should immediately and unconditionally release them. Redact members also highlighted what they call brutal and bloody repression of peaceful protesters perpetrated by Cameroonian forces of law and order with unequivocal order of those redact qualify as zealous administrators. According to Redag, dumbfounded and appealing protesters, among whom women, have been seen shot, though with rubber bullets in some cases, in streets across several cities in Cameroon, and others being tear gassed by forces of law and order, which is a violation of their basic rights, and the civil society organization sees these acts as inadmissible and intolerable. Citing the cases of Celestine Jamin and Barrister Michel Ndoki, Redak demands the government of Cameroon to open an investigation in order to track down perpetrators of violence against civilians. Redak is also worried about the deepening conflict in the northwest and southwest regions, which they say has brought incalculable consequences in terms of loss of lives, arbitrary killings, thousands displays 
and an adverse economic impact. Insecurity, highway robbery in the Adamawa region of Cameroon, road accidents and Cameroon's failure to host the AFCON 2019 equally preoccupied Redag as they launch activities for 2019. Redag also called on the clergy, journalists, members of the national and international community to join us in checking the excessive use of power by government authorities. For me, I'm Strong Standard reporting and reactions have equally been raining on social media with many social media users calling for the release, the immediate release of leaders of the CRM political party arrested and detained in Yaoundé. Different reactions have stumped social media in regards to the arrest of the leading opposition leader of the Cameroon Renaissance movement, Professor Maurice Kamto alongside Abed Zongang and Celestine Jammin. Kawala of the Cameroon's People's Party noted that, I quote, Confirmation from several sources, arrest of Maurice Kamto and Abed Zongang in Douala. Alain Foge placed in custody in Yaoundé. Celestine Jammin pulled out of his hospital bed to be arrested. The BR regime intensifies and consolidates its repression. Barrister Keremona, leader of the NOW movement, added that, Kamto and many others arrested. In this unfortunate attempt to show strength, we discover a government too weak to dialogue, too incompetent to understand the cry of its people. Jean-Michel Nincho, a militant of the Social Democratic Front on his Facebook page, equally noted that we are demanding for the immediate release of Kamto. Alice Sadio, head of the Alliance of Progressive Forces, APF, on her part wrote that questioning and deportation to Yaoundé might be the chronology of the events that occurred in the two Anglophone regions, which is now witnessing a chaotic environment. The same causes will produce the same results in a different context. Such tension is exaggerated in such a country which is already guided by the military in three fronts. We are demanding the immediate release of Maurice Camto and all those who were equally arrested. Many other reactions keep storming up on social media in regards to the arrest of these militants. Reactions on social media compiled by Immaculate uh, Fogwe, the Cameroon People's Democratic Movement, CPDM political party has equally issued a release signed by the Secretary General Jean Quete, the Secretary General of the Central Committee, condemned the protest move of the uh, Cameroon Renaissance Movement, CRM political party, qualifying it as illegal and calling on the authorities that be to take actions and bring to book all those who masterminded or took part in the protest movement organized by the CRM uh, political party and the Minister of Communication Rene Manuel Sadi equally issued a release uh, today continuing to condemn the protest move of the social or the Cameroon Renaissance movement and indicating that measures will be taken to ensure that all those involved in the destruction at the country's embassy in Paris, France and the protest move in other parts of the country will be brought to book or will simply face the law and we are receiving in this newscast another legal mind barrister Nkamwa Limen he is the head of the Nkamwa Limen law firm you're welcome thank you so much Mr. Babida. when you look at the uh, reaction of forces of law and uh, order in uh, quelling down or uh, crushing the protest move by the Cameroon Renaissance Movement CRM political party what's your take on uh, the way uh, the, the protest move was handled by security forces? Well, in their usual style of uh, exaggeration, you know, we've discovered in all manifestations in this country that the, the, the military, the police, they always exaggerate in the use of force and uh, reasons why we keep on having uh, the, the situation gets bad than, than being arranged because of the, the use of force. And uh, um, the use of force seem not to be solving the problem but aggravating it. Of course, the use of force will only aggravate the, the, the situation because why do people come out? People come out because they are actually they have grievances against the state and they have the right, they have the right to air their views. Now, on, on one hand, the state is the laws are that they should not come, the, 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 the people don't have the right to manifest, which is against the international law ratified, duly ratified by the Cameroon, uh, by, by our country, and 
And, in, uh, in, uh, and when you look at our constitution, it, 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 it states that these laws, these international laws, treaties that we sign, they take precedence over national law. And we, in that same constitution, say that we want to enforce the provisions of, of the uh, International Declaration of Human Rights of 1948. But when you look that people don't have even the right to associate, people don't have the right to talk, it becomes very worrisome and shows that it's a government that has failed and does not think that dialogue can resolve problems. Now, the CRM political party uh, says that all the manifestations were declared according to the law concerning public manifestations in Cameroon. And on the other side, government authorities, the Minister of Territorial Administration, the Minister of Communication say uh, the manifestations were illegal. What does the law say? Is, you know, what, what does the law say about all of this? You know, I begin by condemning such bad faith from those government officials. When it comes to CPDM, there is no violation of law. When it comes to any other political party, they start talking about illegality. What does the, does the law permit people to gather and express their expression? Oh, yes, it does. And if we limit ourselves to our national laws, then we're making a mistake because, as I said before, we have ratified, we have duly ratified conventions, human rights conventions that permit us, that permits us to, 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 to air our views, our political views. So it is, it is, it is just worrisome and an act of stupidity, as I would say, for people to react and think that others don't have the right to, to talk. But the law permits, it is uh, enshrined in the Constitution, public protest is a right. Of course, when you talk about the Constitution, you talk about the grown norm, the, bigger, the, the biggest law of the country, which states that we, we are there, we are there, the Cameroon, the Cameroon state adheres not to, to the UN Charter and to the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. And then the subsequent co co covenants that were signed in 1966, which is that of human rights uh, uh, covenants. And one of it is that we have the right to contribute in our political life. We have the right to the right of movement, right of speech. And so when you sign those, those conventions, and in the same constitution you say that they take precedence over national law, it means that what? That even if there's a national law that states that you should not, it is in conflict with that of the constitution. And so it is a constitutional right for people to come out and to aid it is a constitutional right, right. Now, what is usually uh, highlighted to justify the repression uh, usually experienced during uh, protests organized notably by political parties of the opposition or civil society uh, organizations is that uh, is what is known as threat to public order. This point is always why, highlighted. Why is it only focused on opposition leaders, uh, opposition rallies? CPDM they does their, their rallies without any intervention. Does it mean that the CPDM cannot violate and they cannot pose a threat to national security? It is wrong. It is wrong. The, the, the truth is that they are afraid. When you have when you have skeletons in your cupboard, you are afraid. Why why would they, why would it bother them for somebody to revendicate his, his victory if he feels that that he, that, that he, he actually won? But the Minister of Territorial Administration, for example, uh, was saying in his press statement that how is it possible? How can an election uh, come and go after four months after you're still calling for the recount? This it was that is that is when somebody dies in his village, they don't go and do cry that after so many so, so, so many months. He's crying. He's crying out for his victory. He's crying out for his victory, and a man like Kanto will not do all these things without having, without, without believing and having proofs that he actually won. And to be honest with you, he's somebody I respect a lot. That a man of his caliber, with all his comfort, he could come out to fight for others because if it's his life, he has succeeded. And they were equally protesting against the violence going on in Anglophone Cameroon. And it started in this same light that people wanted to air their views, and others think that they cannot talk. Do you know something? It's you cannot force people to be quiet all the time. And to me, it is, it is now, it is the opposition leaders should come out equally like come to and say that enough is enough. He has started a revolution. To me, it's a revolution he has started. And others should not be afraid. Others should come and say, okay, if you want to lock Kamto, lock everybody. Lock everybody. Now, the arrest of Maurice Kamto and the other leaders yesterday at the residence of Albert Zunga in the Dwala 5 uh, municipality took place in the, res in the private residence. Yes. What does the law say about the arrest of persons in the private residence? Where, where I, 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 I meeting?
I deal with uh, with a uh, matter by senior by Sir King who says that an arrest yeah, depends on the crime, the, the offence committed, and and that it could be done at any time. Yeah, maybe they are arrested, maybe for what the for the match pass they did before and some other things. But what I'm saying is that to me it is baseless, it is legally baseless to have arrested him because he had he, he took a peaceful uh, match. It is baseless. All right, Barista Kamwa Limen, head of the Kamwa Limen law firm here in Douala. Thanks for coming. It's a pleasure. Thanks, ladies and gentlemen, for staying with us. That's it for this edition of the news. Goodbye.